Hi, Sunday School family. Today is November 15th, 14th, 15th. Sunday, November 15th. I'm on time today. And I wanted to talk today about kindness. Friday was National Kindness Day. And it's a day to kind of recognize kindness and being nice to each other. It's a kind of a reminder of how we should be behaving as people, as Christians. So I wanted to explore the Bible and see what it says about kindness. And then um, I'm going to encourage you to think of ways to be kind this weekend or this week. And um, then we will do a prayer. So, <clears throat> so to start with, um, I'm wondering, what does the Bible say about kindness? In Luke 6, 31, it says, do for others just what you want them to do for you, which is kind of the golden rule, right? Do unto others as you want done unto you. And that's about kindness. We want to be treated kind. Most of us do, I think. Um, and so the Bible encourages us to treat others the way we want to be treated. In Galatians... 513 the Bible says um, and I think this is interesting for the kind of times we are here in in especially in our country the struggles that we're having I think this really speaks to what is going on and maybe a direction that we should all be focusing on um, it says as for you my brothers you were called to be free but do not let this freedom become an excuse for letting your physical desires control you. Instead, let love make you serve one another. For the whole law is summed up in one commandment, love your brother as you love yourself. But if you act like wild animals, hurting and harming each other, then watch out or you will completely destroy one another which I think is powerful. Um, I think that that is what can happen if we all decide to be angry and hurtful and right. Um, I often tell people in my job um, something to think about. Do you want to be right or do you want to be relational? Do you want to have relationships with this person or do you want to just be right? And I think that that's about kindness, right? I can be right, but that isn't kind and that isn't building a relationship and that isn't in what Christ wants us to do. I think he wants us to be kind to each other and um, spread that around. <laughs> um, it further goes on Galatians 6, 9 through 10 says, so let us not become tired of doing good. For if we do not give up, there will be a time that we will reap the harvest. So then as often as we have the chance, we should do good to everyone. So I think that's also interesting, right? It isn't just one time. It isn't just November 13th that we should be kind to each other. That's kind of just a reminder of to keep going, that we should be kind every day. Um, and we should be creative in how we're being kind and spread it around. There's, I mean, who doesn't need kindness? We can give kindness to anybody. We can give kindness to our parents. We can give kindness to our brother or sister. We can give kindness to our teachers, to our friends, to people we don't know. Um, and so I think there's lots of kindness that can be done. It doesn't have to be big things. So as we're kind of going through this, I want you to start thinking about like, how can I be kind this week? In Ephesians 4.32, it says, Instead, be kind and tender hearted to one another and forgive one another as God has forgiven you through Christ. Instead, be kind and tender hearted. So it's about softening ourselves. It's about opening ourselves up to other people and spreading that kindness, that light that's inside of us, right? Jesus is the light. It is inside of us. And the way that we can let it shine is kindness. And that's, that's one of the easiest ways to do that. Okay. Um, in Proverbs 
1225, it says, and we've been talking about worry, right? It says, worry can rob you of happiness, but kind words will cheer you up. So the other super cool thing about being kind is that it helps us too. It helps us feel like we're good people. It helps us feel like we're doing something. So when we're kind to somebody else, it isn't selfless. It, it fills us up too. And it, it helps us. Um, it, it can cheer us up and fill us with happiness. So kindness is good for us too. It's just good all the way around. We should just be kind. And let's just practice that this week. I want, that's your challenge. Today, um, my husband made brownies and we cut them up and we're going to go deliver some brownies to some people um, for our random act of kindness this week. Uh, so maybe you and your family can think of a project to do like that. Or maybe you can think about, um, is there someone at school you can be kind to? Can you hold the door open for somebody? Can you smile at somebody new? Um, can you give a sincere compliment to somebody? It doesn't have to be big things. Words are so powerful. Actions are so powerful. And so when they're filled with kindness, they just stick with people. This week, my friend um, posted that she wanted us on Facebook to share something about somebody, a mutual friend. And so there was a man um, that I went to school with. And he posted about me and three of my friends about how he felt about us as kids, how we treated him as kids with kindness. He remembers that. And even as adults, um, how we have ha had some sort of impact in his life through that. And that was powerful. It's, it's something, it was so powerful to me to have somebody recognize that. But I think it's interesting that for him, when he thinks about us as people, we only see him on social media. It's not like we know him in his daily life, but he still thinks like, wow, these, these girls were kind. Um, and I think that that is powerful. So even if you think it's not that important or it seems little, it can stick with somebody for years and, and they can pay that back, right? To hear that felt good to me. And now I'm filled with that joy and love too. So it is powerful. It is important. And it is simple. It's just something we have to practice. So, so that is your challenge this week. Um, the second thing I think would be kind of fun is I really miss our songs and our music. And um, you can always look up Miss Carla's favorite Sunday school song, I Want to Be a Sheep, and have a good laugh and sing that. But also maybe this week, look up This Little Light of Mine and sing that um, or listen to it or have your family listen to it. I think that is kind of what we're talking about, shining our light out into the world. So let's say a quick prayer. Um, we'll say the Lord's Prayer together since we've been practicing memorizing that. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. I hope you all have a wonderful day and a wonderful week, and we will drop a message again next week for you. Take care.